Namaste everyone. Welcome back to my channel Pushkar's Wiki. Today we are diving deep into one of the most important topics of India, size and location. India is one of the ancient civilizations in the world. India's geography is a fascinating study of extremes from the world's highest mountains to vast fertile plains and a long coastline that has shaped its history and global standing. India's location and diverse climate are two of its most defining characteristics. India's climate is predominantly classified as a tropical monsoon climate, yet its vast size and varied topography create a wide range of climatic conditions. The Himalayas in the north play a crucial role, acting as a natural barrier that prevents frigid Central Asian winds from entering the subcontinent. This keeps most of North India warm or mildly cool in the winter. The mountains also trap the moisture-laden monsoon winds, causing heavy rainfall in the region. This climatic diversity supports a rich variety of ecosystems, from the lush rainforests of the Western Ghats to the cold deserts of Ladakh. It also directly impacts agriculture, enabling the cultivation of a wide range of crops from rice in the humid regions to wheat in the semi-arid regions. India's central location at the head of the Indian Ocean gives it a unique strategic position. The country is a southward extension of the Asian continent with its Deccan Peninsula jutting into the ocean and dividing it into the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal. No other country has a longer coastline on the Indian Ocean, which is a major reason why the ocean is named after India, Indian Ocean. This location has provided significant advantages through history. Ancient Trade Routes India's location facilitated ancient trans-Indian Ocean trade routes. You can see the map showing the Indian Ocean trade route in the 15th and 16th century, a vast maritime network linking East Africa, the Middle East, South Asia and Southeast Asia. Today, these same routes are critical for global trade as a large portion of the world's bulk cargo and oil shipments pass through the Indian Ocean. India's central position allows it to be a crucial transit point. Geopolitical importance India's long coastline and naval power make it a key player in the Indian Ocean region. It plays a significant role in maritime security and stability, and its ports serve as a vital hub for international commerce. By the end of this video, you'll clearly understand where India is located on the globe, India's size and shape, our neighboring countries. So let's get started. India is a vast country located entirely in the Northern Hemisphere, latitudinal extent. India stretches roughly from 8 degrees 4 minutes north to 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitude. Longitudinal extent, it lies between 68 degrees 7 minutes east and 97 degrees 25 minutes east longitude. This position gives India a great diversity in climate, from tropical in the south to alpine in the north. A strategic location connecting east and west through the Indian Ocean. Also, the Tropic of Cancer, 23 degrees 30 minutes north, passes almost through the middle of the country, dividing India into almost two equal halves, the tropical south and subtropical north. Also remember, the Earth rotates 360 degrees in 24 hours, which is 15 degrees per hour, which is 1 degree equal to 4 minutes. This is why longitude difference creates time difference and we have a different time zone in a different country. Do you know which country has a maximum time zone? The answer is Russia. Russia has 11 different time zones and USA has 4 different time zones. But there are actually 6 time zones in the USA. 4 main ones are Eastern, Central, Mountain and the Pacific Standard Time. The other two are Alaska Standard Time and Hawaii Aleutian Standard Time, observed only by Alaska and Hawaii. Now moving to the area and other details of Bharat, that is India. India is the 7th largest country in the world by area. Total area is about 3.28 million square kilometers. It covers about 2.4% of the total land area of the earth. Now India is the first most populous country in the world. Due to its sheer size, which has contributed to India's rich cultural diversity, varied natural resources and climatic conditions. India's location is of great significance in the world. 
India is like a central bridge between East and West Asia. It is strategically located between West Asia, East Asia and Southeast Asia. The Indian Ocean provides India with a long coastline of about 7,516 kilometers, helping it maintain trade contacts with Africa, Europe and Asia for centuries. India's location has made it important center for global trade cultural exchange and geopolitics even today. India's neighboring countries India shares land boundaries with seven countries. The total length of India's land border is approximately 15,106.7 kilometers. Pakistan The border with Pakistan is 3,323 kilometers long and passes through the states of Gujarat, Rajasthan and Punjab and the Union territories of Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh. Afghanistan. India shares its shortest land border, only 106 kilometers long, with Afghanistan. Nepal. This 1,751 kilometer border is shared by Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, and Sikkim. It is largely an open border, facilitating free movement of people. Bhutan. The border with Bhutan is 699 kilometers long and is shared by the states of Sikkim, West Bengal, Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. Bangladesh With a border length of 4096.7 kilometers, this is India's longest land border. It runs along the state of West Bengal, Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizoram. Myanmar the 1,643 km long border with Myanmar in the northeast touches Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, and Mizoram. China India's second longest border is with China, stretching for 3,488 km. India has two island nations as maritime neighbors located across the Indian Ocean. Sri Lanka Separated from India by the narrow Polk Strait, and the Gulf of Manar. Maldives, this island nation is located southwest of India near the Lakshdweep Islands. These neighbors are not just geographically close but historically, culturally and economically linked to India in various ways. So today we explore India's size, location and neighbors and why its geography plays a such a big role in its history and future. Understanding where we are on the globe helps us appreciate how India connects to the world in trade, culture and international relations. Hope you like this video. I will explain more about India in my next video. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning. Dhanyavad.